Ad Creative AI is one of the most powerful tools in my arsenal because it allows me to quickly and easily test hundreds of different variations of graphics, dozens of different copy variations, all seamlessly. So today I am doing a step-by-step -step tutorial so you can learn how to get the most Ad Creative AI and supercharge your own campaigns. Let's go ahead and get right in. All right, so right off the bat, one of the first things that you have to do when you uh, sign up for Ad Creative AI is that you have to create a brand, right? When you put in your brand information, it's gonna learn from all this and it's gonna use a lot of that information in order to generate the appropriate assets for you. So we're gonna start off here. You're gonna put in either your website page or your landing page for the brand portion. I do recommend actually doing your website page because your landing page may not like fully reflect your entire brand, whereas obviously your website should be doing that. So I'm gonna go here and put in Alvaro Barrios com and then it's gonna do import brand it's gonna do its thing right here okay so we can see that it imported a lot of really good stuff right here it already knows my name Alvaro Barrios digital so that is perfect brand logo it found that again on my website I didn't have to touch it I don't have to upload it and it was able to detect my brand colors right here so I actually don't need to make any other changes now if there is an error you can go ahead and select these options and choose something yourself so for example if that's kind of like maybe like an older version of my logo I can go ahead and click on upload right here and choose that that version but I'm actually very happy with everything that uh, it has selected right here so then I'm gonna go ahead and click on create brand and now I get to go and create my assets so here are all the different assets that you can select from ad creative AI so even though it's called ad creative AI you can actually also generate text as you can see right here which is really cool you can do a specific product photo ad um, you can even do videos I'll show you a quick preview of that towards the end of this video social creatives batch creatives all that kind of stuff but let's go ahead and stick with what ad creative AI is mostly known for which is creating ads for you so we're gonna click on that and so here you get to click on the size that is appropriate for you so 1080 by 1080 landscape story size portrait whatever it might be I'm gonna keep it at 1080 by 1080 if you happen to be running any display ads such uh, like on Google Ads for example you can actually also select that right here but I'm happy with the selection of 1080 by 1080 that is the best for most social platforms out there so now we're gonna go with the next step right here here you can do a couple of different things you can input your own headline and punchline all that kind of stuff or you can have them do it for you with their generative AI you can see right here generate text with AI I'm gonna click back right here so generate text you click on that enter your landing page or your website so now I do want to actually use my landing page because the text and the copy is all gonna be specific to my landing page let me go ahead and quickly grab that right there okay there we go okay so it actually generated an error when I put in my landing page I think that's because my landing page is very simple so it couldn't extract the appropriate information from that. So instead I went with my uh, normal website, which if this happens to you, you can do that as well. And here we go, it did actually a really good job once again. So product slash service name, Facebook ad strategy services. So I'm actually gonna switch this to paid ad strategy services because in addition to Facebook ads, uh, my team and I, we run YouTube ads and Google ads and all sorts of other ads as well. Professional, I definitely want my language to be English right there. And then the description of my product or service, scale your online business with expert Facebook ad strategies that consistently generate new leads Alvaro Barrios Digital it helps online entrepreneurs focus on customer satisfaction by providing a steady stream of high quality leads through targeted Facebook and Instagram advertising grow your brand value nurture leads with a strong sales funnel and scale your business effectively to achieve success and increase profitability so the really cool thing about this is that that's actually not written anywhere on my website but it is tracked and analyzed snippets of text that do exist on my website and it put this together all on its own which is really cool and neat target audience online entrepreneurs that is correct call to action schedule call that actually is the call to action on my web main website but for this this is going to be a campaign that I'm going to be running on Facebook and LinkedIn and the actual call to action for this campaign specifically is going to be learn more so I'm going to just switch that to learn more right there so now I'll click on save and generate all right so now it took that information from my brand and now it has created my headlines and my punchline all that kind of stuff so ready for targeted leads maximize ROI with pro ads learn more now and then the call to action icon now if I'm not happy with any of these I can always click on this drop down menu and choose one of the other options that uh, it gives me so just out of curiosity I want to see here whoops um, what uh, boost profits scale business I actually kind of like this one, uh, wish for consistent leads. It's a little bit more in terms of the deep desire of my target audience. So I'm actually gonna go with that. Maximize uh, ROI with pro ads. Let's see what else it gave me here. 
So I'm gonna go with Ace Online Ads Strategy. Learn more now is totally fine uh, as well. Now I can also click on this button. Let me actually quickly copy and paste there. I can also click on this button and it can, you know, I can modify certain things. So for example, I can shorten this text if I feel like that is for some reason too long. I can shorten it. Um, I can change the sentiment of the ad. Right now it has a professional tone, but I can make it informal or friendly, enthusiastic. So lots of lots of different options uh, right here that you have in terms of your power and you know everything that's at <clears throat> your grasp with all the AI technology that they offer you here. But I'm really happy with what I have right here. Also, really quick, you can just manually put something in here if you want. You don't have to go with their AI generate um, options, but I'm happy with what I see right here. So go ahead and click on next step. Now it comes with the images. So I'm gonna click on search images right here. And let's go, actually, no, really quick. I'm gonna go one step back. I'm gonna go to your library and then I'm gonna upload an image, upload one of my brand photos. Go ahead and upload this one. But what I was trying to show you here is that you can upload your own photos um, or you can choose from their library as well. So let's go ahead and go with that one. And then also I can crop it right now. So I'm gonna do this right there, crop it. And then remove background. I actually probably will do that because the green background will look kind of random for a lot of these. So let me go ahead and click on that right there. All right, perfect. So project name, run better ads, generate. Okay, so here it gives me all of the different variations that it has come up with. So I can just like keep on scrolling down. I've never actually counted the total number that it generates, but I'm pretty sure it is 100 images that it generates uh, right here. And the other neat thing is that they give you a conversion score on what they feel will be the highest converting one. But at the end of the day, it comes down to testing. So don't put too, too much weight on that. It doesn't, it's not a guarantee that this one that's 100 out of 100 is for sure going to be the best one and most profitable. So let's say that you see one and there's something that you you just want to change on that one alone you actually can do that right here so let's just say for example here ace online ad strategy right here the ace online ad strategy that part is a really light right it's kind of difficult to read um, but let's just say I really like the remainder of the ad I can go ahead and click on just edit this post right here and then you can either choose quick input edit or creative studio editor let me just quickly show you both of them right here so quick input is that you can change actually going back to the text or the image um, or the logo you can modify that on here so all the inputs that we gave it before so that it could generate all these assets. If I want to modify one of those for this image specifically, I can go ahead and do that right here. But again, let's just say I want to keep all those assets, but I just want to change the color of this. And I go back to edit creative studio editor. And then once you get right here, you have all of your layers over here on the right hand side. So I need to select the layer with the uh, ad copy on it right here, which is group two. And then it's either gonna be text one or text two. Let's see, no, the text one is wish for consistent lead. So the text two is the one that I want to be modifying right here. Perfect, awesome. So then I come over here on the left-hand side. I can change the font as well if I want to do that. But like I said, the thing that I mainly wanna change here is the color of the text. So let's go ahead and make this black so that it stands out. And then I can also reposition this right here. So that's a little bit more centered. And then spacing, letter spacing. Let me make this, oops. Oh, I need to go the other way. Sorry. <laughs> Spread this out more so it's not so stuck to one another. Let's go with that right there. Okay, perfect. So now once everything here uh, I'm happy with, I can go ahead and click on the download button and then I'll just go ahead and download this image. Or if you have your ad account directly connected to it, you can push it directly to the platform. I typically don't do that because usually there's other small tweaks. Maybe I want to make some tweaks to the text and stuff like that, but just want to let you know that is a possibility right there. So now let's go ahead and close the editor because I do want to quickly show you something else. Go ahead and save the changes. So now every single time I go back to that image now inside of ad creative AI, it's going to keep all my changes so I don't have to redo that over and over again. And then, so let's say I want to download multiple. Well, you can certainly do that. So I can select these three right here, for example. And then once I hit the download button, it's going to download all three images into a zip file for me right there. So lots of cool stuff right here in terms of freedom, flexibility of creating the assets. Let me quickly go back up here and let's do this background image. Uh, so here I want to give an example. Let's go ahead and delete this. So I can search for images and then I can let's do Facebook ads and see what it comes up with. And uh, okay, cool. Let's go with this one right here. 
And now it's gonna redo all my ads with that image as the background. So if you don't have a headshot or any brand photos of yourself that you don't like, you can choose from their library and it's gonna repeat this whole process over and over again. All right, so here is the ad that I selected earlier and edited earlier, so I can still have access to that, but now it's all the ads, um, again, with that different image in the background right there. Now, one of the really amazing features of Ad Creative AI is that, again, it's not just for creatives, you can also use it to create some text, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so to get back to a different type of project, you just click on Generate, that leads you back to this page right here. So let's go and create some text, right? So I've got my images, downloaded them, now I need some text to go along with this. So here I do for sure want to grab my opt-in page and not my main website because it's for a specific promotion. Okay, well, as you can see here, once again, it generated an error for my specific landing page. That actually tells me there's probably something wrong with my landing page and the platform that it's on. So I'm definitely gonna look into that and see what changes I can make so that I can actually start detecting everything that's on there. But no worries, let's just go with my regular website because you'll see here in a second, there's some other features that will help me still make some ad copy that is specific for my promotion. So we'll let it scan right here. All right, so let's go ahead and change this to Facebook ad strategy training because I am promoting a specific training right here for this one. Uh, this, this is fine. It just gives an, a general idea of you know what it is that I do. But down here is the important part, right? So here, the advanced options, I want to tell it my specific inputs for this specific uh, promotion. So my target audience, online entrepreneurs, you call to action. Let's uh, say register now because it's for a training professional. Um, I can let um, the AI choose to use emojis or not that's totally fine with me and so here custom request i can put in this is for a free 25 minute training the goal is to get them to register and then book a call with me specifically targeted to those who have tried running ads, but without success. So even though it wasn't able to scan my actual landing page, this custom request really allows me to give it all the information it needs to know about my promotion. So that way the text is specific to that promotion as opposed to just being broad and generic about my website right now. So like I said, if that happens to you, no worries. There's other ways around it as well. So let's call this the mini webinar promo and then go ahead and click on generate text. And here are all the different texts that it comes up with. Um, it's a mixture of short copy, medium copy. There isn't anything that I would say is truly long copy, but there are items that are longer in here. And so for example, let's say this is the longest one right here and I like it, but I want to make some few changes. Just like with the images, you can absolutely do that. Click on edit and then I can type away right here, make all the changes I want. Obviously I don't want to actually <laughs> do that. Uh, so then I'm going to click on save right there and then boom. So in a matter of literally minutes, is it's given me all these ad copies variations. I didn't have to do any of this. AI did it for me, saving me a lot of time and it's a really great tool. All right, one final thing I want to just show you a quick preview. I'm not going to do a deep dive because it's essentially the same steps, but I did want to show you the video capabilities inside of Ad Creative AI. So let's take a sneak peek right there. All right, so for the video, let's go back to generate, add videos right here. You can choose between product videos or background videos. This is actually something that's coming very soon. All purpose videos that require a single image or video to be placed in. So for right now, it's just the product videos, just like with the images, you can choose the uh, size and shape of the actual video itself. So let's go ahead and click on next step. And this is really the main thing that I wanted to show you here. So when you hear, oh, we're going to generate videos for you, it's not doing what, like, for example, like Sora AI is going to be able to do. If you don't know what Sora AI is, you can go ahead and check this out right here. Uh, but it's just going to be kind of like a product image and a moving, shifting background that can catch people's attention, so on and so forth. So that's the main thing that I wanted to show you in terms of what types of videos you can have it generate for you. All right that is the breakdown of ad creative ai i definitely encourage you to check it out and if you are interested i have a link in the description below for a free trial definitely go ahead and give it a try it is well worth it i think you will stay on for longer than just a free trial period because it generates really good results and it's going to save you hours of time each and every single week but if you have any questions about this tutorial just let me know as always in the comments below thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you next time